Choosing the ideal pair of binoculars begins with familiarizing yourself with a few key technical terms. Together, these basic binocular elements determine how a given pair of binoculars will perform in the field. Let's take a closer look at what all these technical terms really mean. The magnification, or power, of a binocular refers to the same thing. This is the number of times the image is enlarged compared to what you would see with the naked eye. Binocular size is described by two numbers. The first number refers to magnification. The second number is the measure of the binocular's objective lens in millimeters. For example, a pair of 8x42 binoculars has 8 times magnification and a 42 millimeter objective lens. These binoculars will display an object image eight times larger than the same object seen with the naked eye. The objective lens is the front lens of the binocular. The size of this lens, indicated in millimeters, determines the amount of light that can enter the binoculars. More light entering the binoculars results in a brighter image. The measurement of the objective lens is the second component to binocular size. In an 8x40 binocular, the objective lens measures 40 millimeters. Compared to an 8x20 binocular, which has a 20 millimeter objective lens, an 8x40 binocular is larger and capable of gathering more light. Although these binoculars have the same 8 times magnification, the 8x40 binoculars will produce brighter images. The 8x20 binoculars, however, will be smaller, lighter, and more portable. Field of view refers to the size of the viewing window seen through a pair of binoculars. This is usually expressed in the measurement feet at 1,000 yards. Field of view is determined by binocular magnification compared to objective lens size. When viewed through the same size objective lens, higher magnification reduces field of view. Conversely, lower magnification increases field of view. Look at it this way. When using higher magnifications, more of the surrounding area lies outside of the viewing window as you observe an object up close. With lower magnifications, this viewing window expands, allowing you to see more of your subject's surroundings. A larger objective lens will also result in a wider field of view. One additional factor determining field of view is binocular design. Binocular size being equal, poro prism binoculars have wider fields of view than roof prism binoculars. The exit pupil is the diameter, expressed in millimeters, of the shaft of light transmitted from the binocular to the eye. If you hold a pair of binoculars at arm's length from your eye, the circle of light you will see in the center of the eyepiece is the exit pupil. This is an important indicator of the binocular's low light performance. The larger the exit pupil, the brighter the image. The size of the exit pupil of a given pair of binoculars can be determined by dividing the objective lens diameter by the magnification. For example, an 8x40 binocular, 40 divided by 8, will have an exit pupil diameter of 5 millimeters. Close focus is the minimum distance from the subject required for clear focus. This is usually expressed in feet. It is often assumed that binocular viewing is done at long distances, but there are many applications, such as birding, for which short-range viewing is essential. Eye relief is the distance between your eye and the eyepiece of your binoculars during normal viewing. This is an important performance factor. Users who wear eyeglasses should select binoculars with extended eye relief for optimal viewing. As you familiarize yourself with the technical terms used to describe binoculars, it's possible to forget the physical size of the binoculars you're considering. Make sure this is something you account for as you shop. Remember that objective lens size indicates the diameter, in millimeters, of the front lenses. While larger objective lenses gather more light, they also make for heavier, bulkier binoculars. That's something to consider if your binocular activities require portability.